Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw for Insider Travel Report, and I'm here with hopefully someone you've seen uh, on, on uh, Insider before. It's Daniel Hotstetler, who's the president of now the Boca Raton. And there's some big news coming up. I was actually down there in 2021 uh, when it was some of the first buildings were being renovated, and now they have kept going until now. And we got another hotel that is going to be reno is is in the process of being renovated, and we're going to talk to Daniel about that and the evolution of and rebirth actually of the Boca Raton here on Insider Travel Report. Daniel, good to see you. We, we've we've talked Thanks. we've Thank talked you. at Thank conferences. You for Absolutely. We've talked at conferences. Um, we, we, I was down there to visit the property when it first opened. I, as you said, I got to get back. You've done a lot in the last few years. We uh, have. Let, let's first of all, remind us all what the, the Boca Raton includes, maybe what it doesn't include, because it includes almost everything. <laughs> so we have five different hotels within the complex of about 350 acres, totaling 950 rooms. And then we've got about 14 restaurants a 50,000 square foot uh, spa, and then our recreational activities from uh, golf to um, to racket sports to our uh, four acre Harborside Pool Club, and of course, our beach, which is being newly reimagined as part of the beach club. Right, right. So you, you uh, and I did visit uh, the beach when I was there, the, the when it was still hadn't been renovated yet, it was still beautiful, and it's right on the beach. Uh, because many people don't understand that maybe the Boca Raton is not set directly on the beach, but you do have a property uh, on the beach, and that is the beach club. Now, uh, you've been right. busy refurbishing and renovating each of your hotels in turn uh, over the past four years. Uh, what is what is being refurbished and, and really redone completely at the beach, and how how will it change the property? Well, so we uh, we did in phase one, we did the, what we call the harbor side, which is uh, on the intercoastal and um, our uh, uh, three of our four hotels there, uh, uh, along with all the public spaces, entry areas, landscaping, etc. And uh, just across the intercoastal, a short three minute boat ride away um, is our 11 acre beach club hotel, mm -hmm. which had always been sort of run as an adjunct to the main property. So it had, for instance, only one restaurant, which was outdoor. And if it rained, the restaurant had to close and the guests had to come over to the, what we call the main campus, the, the harbor side where the bulk of the rooms are. This is a $120 million renovation, complete uh, gut renovation of the property to really reposition it as its own independent property. Uh, so outdoor restaurant doing dinner, uh, a brand new three meal a day restaurant inside a new uh, lobby living room dining uh, experience uh, that sort of runs from uh, coffee in the morning through cocktails and tapas into the evening, a reimagined pool deck and and beach, uh, new fitness center. So uh, lobby, all 224 guest rooms. So a complete reimagining. And the idea is that we wanted to be able to create a hotel that you didn't need to come over to the harbor side uh, uh, for any of the amenities. Certainly you can if you want to experience the spa or the or the golf or the racket sports, but essentially you have everything you need on property and you never have to leave during your stay. And of course, the restaurants. You could also avail yourself of all your other restaurants. Yes, and yes other of course. Yeah. Um, now let's, let's talk a little bit about, um, uh, you have been refurbishing everything and is this, first of all, when is the beach club going to, uh, be open, reopened? Mid-December of this year. So oh, we so are coming up. ordering along. Yes. <laughs> well, and so, uh, so you have that. And, uh, so is this the, it for the renovations at this point, or you still have other ideas? We still have other ideas. We're planning phase three right now and sort of coming back over to the harbor side to uh, to hit some of those areas that um, that we didn't do in the phase one and also some additions. But we're still working all that out. Well, I can't imagine you were doing so much and you've been really working on this thing for a while. But it is really I call it a complex. It's a beautiful, beautiful luxury uh, property altogether. And, uh, you know, it's it's really been I mean, what what is it, the Boca Raton first? When did it first uh, uh, open? 
the first one? 1926. So we're coming up on our 100th year anniversary in 2026. So the idea is to be substantially complete by then. Wow. No, you've done an amazing job there. Now let's talk a little bit about uh, the restaurants you, you mentioned. How many different restaurants? I, I know I, I only had the chance to get a couple uh, of them, uh, but uh, the amazing properties. And uh, how many total? You said how many total in, in restaurants? So we have... We have 14 dining outlets and beverage outlets in total. And I think they weren't all open when you came, um, just in our opening in 2021. Uh, but they range from uh, four signature dining restaurants that are in partnership with major food groups. So we have their famous Sedels. Uh, we have um, their version of a Carbones that we call Principesa. And we have a, a chop house complex uh, concept with them. And then Japanese bocce, which is sort of their ZZ Club uh, concept. And then 10 more of our own, ranging from uh, a newly opened tiki bar to casual uh, dining for breakfast and lunch over at the golf clubhouse uh, to the two new ones we're building um, at the beach club. So really a little bit of everything. And those are essentially now all open, except obviously the, the beach club uh, restaurant. Correct. Those will be the last two. Okay, great. So you're moving along now. Um, how would you describe your different hotels, the ambiance, the style? Uh, I guess I'm asking mostly because how travel advisors can can make the right choice for their clients if if there's availability in these these different uh, venues. Uh, they're all very different. That's the, you know the the tower is very different, obviously, in the beach club, and and it's right. uh, so how how would you describe each of the hotels in turn? So that was really our goal, uh, because pre us under the previous ownership, when it was a Waldorf Astoria, it was sort of run as a thousand room property. And we try to run it as five distinct properties. And we say to the travel advisors, find the lodging product that is right for your client first. And then they have all of the amenities from the spa to the golf, to the racket, to the to the beach or the pools, depending on where they are. And so for us, we have the cloister which is really the bulk of our rooms, 350 rooms. That's the historic hotel. It's our lead-in rates. A uh, lot of connecting rooms for family. A um, lot of use by corporate groups because it's connected to our conference center. And then you have the tower uh, where we have about 200 rooms, all brand newly renovated in 21-22. Uh, also great for families. Uh, I liken it to a, a sort of four seasons level of experience. There's butlers on every floor. Uh, every uh, corner room is a one bedroom suite that connects to a double queen or a junior king suite. And so you can make a three bedroom family suite out of those. Uh, and then we have the Yacht Club, which is only 100 rooms uh, with its own restaurant just for those guests with a, a chef who comes from a two-star Michelin restaurant. Every room is a junior suite or a suite. All of them have water views of the inner uh, uh, coastal and no children under 16. So mm -hmm. that is our sort of adult luxury product where the tower is our family luxury product. And then we have the bungalows which are only 58 two-bedroom uh, suites that are right on the golf course. Uh, they are phenomenal. They're behind their own set of gates with their own concierge team, their own swimming pool, their own small fitness center. And really that's our long stay product, anywhere from a four to seven night minimum. Uh, perfect for people who want to make Florida their home for a couple of weeks or a couple of months during season. Um, very popular. And then the beach club, is being reimagined to really be what I call a, a Miami alternative. Uh, it uh, We achieved Forbes five stars just before we closed for renovation. And the idea is to come out of renovation at that level of service, but with some whimsy. We want to make right. sure that it's uh, positioned for a younger market, sort of late 30s, mid 40s, uh, with children or without, lots of different experiences from daily rituals to, that take place to yoga on the beach to this very cool Vespa bar, Vez bar uh, that circles the adult pool and hands out boozy wow. popsicles in the afternoon. So really a lot of whimsy and fun on that product, uh, brand newly renovated and, and just a really great beach resort that will compete with our our comp set, which is the Breakers and the O Palm Beach and the and the Four Seasons Palm Beach, but it with a little more attitude and fun to it. No, it sounds like it, and it sounds like it's probably good you keep them over uh, across the bay on the beach. 
that's going to be if, if a Miami vibe you're talking about, that's a different kind of property than the one. Yes, it is. Uh, and it is. And I suppose you could actually, you want to go stay there for a while, you could keep moving around the different uh, hotels. Right? Absolutely. And I think that, you know, if you come with your children, you may stay in the tower. But if you come without your children for a romantic weekend, you may choose to stay in the yacht club. So we see a lot of guests using the different lodging products depending on what they're coming for. Um, and with Beach Club, we found that there were a lot of families that sort of wanted that uh, more casual Miami vibe, but they didn't right. necessarily want to be in Miami. Uh, and so that's why what I mean when I say we're sort of that alternative that's got a lot of programming, a lot of curated experiential uh, rituals and things as part of your stay. Um, obviously a great beach vibe, um, but a little more laid back than what you might find in Miami. Well, you you basically just answered my next question is, is we what would you tell travel advisors today uh, how to sell the Boca Raton? Really, I would tell them to um, to look at those different products and put your client in the in the product that is right for them because each one has its own management team uh, and each one is really trying to deliver a curated experience to that particular audience. Right, the the older travelers that don't want children and want very high touch service are in the yacht club with the butlers. The younger families are in the tower because it adjoins the the harborside pool facility. So pick the right lodging product. Um, let us help you if you need help learning those products. And then know that the client has the run of all of the estate facilities from pool to beach to the 14 restaurants, regardless of where they are, and that we're running water taxis back and forwards from the beach club to the harbor side uh, every 10 minutes, which is a great way to take that sort of three, four minute trip across the water to get to the other property. Um, so once you're here, you can experience all of it. No, that it, it is a beautiful property based on my limited experience there a few years back. But looks like I got to come back when you're all absolutely and, and and we'll do an interview live in person. Uh, you know, not 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 on not on Zoom, but I know we're both traveling uh, today. You're not even in my in in uh, uh, in Boca Raton, and right. I am not in New York. And, and, but you're in New York, so I I, I am. I don't know how did that work out. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm actually out in Vegas as as usual. Uh, for another conference, which we missed you at, uh, uh, we missed you when you at the Virtuoso conference, uh, and that's yes. why we're we're trying to we're trying to get in touch with you uh, for the last few weeks, trying to, based on our schedules. So absolutely. Uh, so anyway, look look great. Uh, and oh, where can travel advisors go to find out more about uh, the Boca Raton? Our uh, email or our sorry, website is thebocaraton.com, um, and then you've got all five hotel lodging products right there on that website. Fantastic. Well, I definitely want to get down there soon uh, when you're when you're completed. Good luck with the the Beach Club. It, it sounds Thank like you. it's going to be. I saw it briefly, but before it started renovation, I liked it then. But you know, you you, you know, you, you probably had a lot of ideas about what was what it was going to happen. Uh, and uh, and really, I I, I would recommend everyone out there uh, to look at the Boca Raton again if you haven't recently. There's a lot of people who love the property and already, but. Now it's going to be, you know, so so much more improved and so much so very different uh, from it was, but it will retain that glamour, uh, that tradition, and uh, really the the wonderful variety of properties. Again, thank you so much, and uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. All right, see you soon. Bye, bye, James. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel. Report.